Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the ink bottles on the Epson EcoTank 4750. In this package you are going to receive uh, two of each color which is really good. So if you're opening this up for the first time uh, from your package, you will have two of each. So each uh, ink color tank is going to take one bottle and as you see there we're starting off with black so all you really have to do is um, line up the top of the bottle with the bottom of the um, ink tank of the the top of the ink tank there line it up um, push push it right up over there and uh, upside down and it will start to fill in that tank this is a very simple process uh, once we get to magenta i will show you exactly how it looks up close and above it so stay tuned for that there will be some links in the description below for this printer as well as the printer ink so if you're wanting to buy some new printer ink I'm gonna provide you with some inexpensive uh, versions of this uh, ink. The bottles are already inexpensive, but I can I have a source that is remanufactured. It's the same exact ink, and it's gonna be a lot cheaper for you. So you're really just leaving the bottle there. There's no squeezing, nothing you really need to do until until it's completely filled up then you're just removing the bottle uh, if you hold the bottle itself you can actually feel uh, that it's dripping you can feel a drip coming out of the bottle once that drip finishes you can then stop and I feel it first with my hand to make sure uh, there with that bottle and you are just covering it up at, uh, at that point after Right, we're moving on to the next color, which is uh, going to be cyan. So really all you have to do here is remove the plastic that's on the outside. Uh, there's no other plastic blocking off uh, the ink from coming out of the bottles. All right, and same thing with cyan. Cyan, magenta, and yellow are going to fill up a little bit faster because uh, the ink tank itself and the bottles of course are smaller so it's going to take about half the time the black ink bottle takes if you were looking for uh, this printer or another printer uh, or some suggestions go ahead and check out my website bestprinterstech.com well you're that's where you're going to be able to find a variety of ink uh, solutions and some uh, printers for sale okay now we move on to magenta and i'll be showing you here kind of how it looks exactly uh, from the top, you see there that the nozzle, you're lining them up basically, uh, the whole thing, just like that. You line it up, you slide it right in, and it starts filling up. But other than that, the bottle does not drip out ink. There's nothing else that goes on unless you, of course, have placed it all the way down in there. And that's a really nice feature. So this is very simple. Any, really, anyone can do this. It's not difficult by any means. It's really just removing the plastic, lifting up the top of the printer, and then lifting up the other compartment that is over the ink tanks. And from there, all you have to do is uh, do one uh, color at a time and start to fill in the ink tanks on the printer. Okay, magenta is finishing up there, and it's one after another, one after another. And of course, you are doing this before you turn on the printer. 
do not turn on the printer before you um, fill up the ink tank because you're not able you're not going to be able to set up the printer if you do it otherwise you really have to do this step first so this is very vital that you do this okay i hope that this uh, video ended up being helpful for you uh, if it was make sure to like comment and subscribe on this video If you needed any help or had any questions for, about the product, about anything, uh, leave that in the comments section below as well. Remember, uh, there are links in the description below for the, the products I have mentioned in this video. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.